last week, Paul, you said you, you wanted a midfielder. Obviously, Ojo didn't work out, and now you've got Josh Bellerin. in. Can you just talk us through what happened with, with Ojo and how the move for came about? Ojo, we've done, haven't we? We've, loads of times. It was long sock suit for light. Thought it was gone. It came back when Aberdeen had a bit of greed, so we matched that. Uh, but then the, the players started messing us about a bit, so it was a case of, uh, no, we don't want you. Um, and then that's what it was, because there's bigger pictures than that. You know, you can't be dead set on coming somewhere and the only club for you, and then all of a sudden, it's not. So as soon as we got them vibes, it was time to sort of pull out. Um, and that, that was sort of Thursday night, but then he said he was signing again Thursday night, Friday morning, messing about again, so it was time to... No, pull the plug. So he was telling you one thing and then all of a sudden changing his mind? Yeah, it just that's how it is, but his circumstances have changed, haven't they? Do you know what I mean? But but so it has, like we're not that we want people who, who want to come here and as soon as you get the vibe that, that they're not, good luck, you know what I mean? We we don't want that, we're not interested in that. Was Vela on the radar before the, the OJ move or Yeah, so Josh we've been speaking to for quite a long time but he, he's had interest and, and to be fair to him again it's probably the exact opposite. He was waiting on an offer from Championship um, who wanted him and then just got sick of waiting and because you know how keen we were and, and he, he was wanted to come here um, he knows people who worked with me before he knows Doji obviously from Bolton and it was a case of no do you know what I'm not hanging about I want to get signed I want to go and play for Hibs so perfect that's the type of play we want does it represent a bit of a coup getting someone who was one of the championships yeah, obviously we were. De yeah, we were delighted, um, and, it, and it happened really quick. It, you know, because Josh knew we wanted him, and it was a case of as soon as he made his mind up, you know, perfect. We were here, ready, waiting for him. So came up on the Tuesday, all done and dusted Tuesday night. Um, so that's ideal. And then, yeah, the last couple of days have been special. People from from down south have had lots of texts, couple of phone calls, you know, about Josh and us getting him. So yeah, I, I know him. I've seen him play lots of times. Um, I think his style will suit the league, um, and 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 his style is is ad, adds to what we've got. You know, I think he is, is different to a lot of the players we've got, um, and brings something else to us. How content are you with your your business as a whole this summer? Yeah, great. We've done we've done really well. You know, we've uh, worked with budget. We've we've really pushed it. Tried to get the best possible players in we can in those positions, and and I think we've done that. So, yeah, we. We just need to get everyone fit now and fire and make sure everyone's got minutes under the belt and ready to go. And you know, looking at the squad now as it stands today, out on the training pitch, we've got two good players for every position. You know, we want it to be a tough team to get in. As far as you're concerned, is that you've done in the transfer market? Then yeah, that's it. We're done. We're done. So unless circumstances change, you know, something unforeseen happens, then um, which we've got to react to. That'll be it. You, you mentioned getting players fit. Last week there was no Flo Canberry or Martin Boyle in the squad. Was, was that fitness related and can we expect to see them this weekend? Yeah, they'll be back in. Yeah, and some other boys who... So it's a case of if they're not going to be working hard at a game, we want to work them hard here. And we've got a few back. We were short of numbers last week, but we've got a few back this week. So we'll have a few more staying behind, having to work really hard. Um, and that'll be tomorrow, yeah. So, yeah, Flo and Boyle will be back in. Two players in each position, is that the, the target you were looking for and, and how important is that competition for places? Yeah, we want we want that. We didn't have that last year. There's a we had lots of good players, but we didn't have a good balance to the team, you know. We had lots of players in certain positions and, and not so many in others. So we want that competition. Um we want everyone chomping at the bit. We want to be able to change it if we need to, if we've got lots of games, um, or based on the personnel. Um, and like I say if, if People do deserve game time, then they'll get it. I'll be able to change the team about. Last year it was a little bit different through um, injury suspensions to start, start with. We didn't have the, the personnel. We had to stick the same team, and then that team did really well, so it was difficult for us to break in. While everybody's fit, though, I suppose it's something you have to manage to make sure everyone's happy. Yeah, well, if it's easy. If they're doing the job, they'll, they'll get a game. Uh, if results are going well, obviously it's easy to keep the same team, but sometimes you've still got to reward people with game time and probably Steffi on the younger last year was a, a good example of that. Um, couldn't get him in the starting team because it was winning but every time he came on he had a real big impact and then you, you can't ignore someone um, and, and that's what we'll do if people are doing it in training they'll get game time uh, and, 
and it'd be great, it'll not happen, but it'd be great to be able to pick any 11 out of the 22 and, and have the same strength team. When you bring seven new players in, how difficult <coughs> is it to just manage the group and make sure everyone settles in, everything is, is fine? Yeah, it's been a big change. So 11 out, seven in. Uh, yeah, it's, it's going to take time, but we're, we're well on the way. You know, we've had lots of people in the grass. We've had, already had a few games, lots of game time, done things to get the boys comfortable with each other, which is good. Um, but we need them to settle down as a group and really understand each other and, and the roles in the team. So you can only do that with games, really. So I'm glad, like I said, the competitive games have started. And bit by bit, we'll get stronger and stronger then through the season. You spoke a few weeks ago about the, that some of the youngsters kind of maybe making a claim for actually being in the squad rather than maybe going out alone and being more involved with the development team and things like that. Like say Josh Campbell and Ben Sutherland, we've seen them involved. Are they kind of in your mind for the squad or are you still kind of making your mind up with them but they've still got a point to prove? No, they're in the building, yeah, they're in the squad. So um, the benefit has sort of from us being light in midfield, you know, Vicky's injury and, and not getting a midfielder until late on. So they've benefited and had a chance. Um, which has been good for them and good for us to get a look at them. So, yeah, th those opportunities won't go away. If someone's performing well enough, they'll stay in the team. Right, can you expect to see more game time for them this weekend, tomorrow? Yeah, they'll be involved. Yeah, they'll be involved. Right. Can I just confirm with, on the OJ thing? You said that you said you didn't want him. Was it was it you that pulled the plug, or was it a case of the player choosing Aberdeen? Yeah, we pulled out like it was dead on the Friday morning. You know, well, at one point Thursday night, then he wanted to sign, so it was Friday morning then when we pulled the plug. And so you sort of just said that we don't want you anymore, took away the option? Yeah, just just ignored it, you know. We we've, we we wanted players who would come, we've got other players there, it was, we had another good player, um, and we want players who, who want to come to us, you know. We got to the point where, you know, Scunthorpe thought ringing us, what's happening, blah, 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 and said, no, it's not for us. Um, so yeah, it, it was the right thing to do for, like I say, we, we've got principles and we want to be based on more than just a simple contract that you offer to someone. It, people have got to want to come and we put in a lot of work to attract the right person and the right player um, and part less so we can get a good gauge on who we're signing. So uh, sometimes you've got, you can't ignore the signs if things are becoming too difficult or no one's looking particularly keen, then they're not for you.